we seem to be slightly lost. Seem to be on the trail, and then all of a sudden just not on the trail. So Cody's over there trying to figure out what's going on. Meg's right there, Amber's over there. So I figured I'd better do some research about this unique mountain range after hearing about some of its stories. Especially since the Superstition Mountains were going to be our home for the next three nights. From the very little research that I compiled, I quickly decided that this was not the best angle of attack for getting us prepared for our trip through the Superstition Mountains. I decided it might be best if I just make sure to study the trail map rather than the news headlines. All right, shall we? All right, we are off on our Superstition Mountains three day backpacking trip. And we are about, let's see, about 29 minutes in, 30 minutes in. We started off on Bluff Spring Trail. And I don't know if you can see on my face here, I am breathing, breathing slightly heavy, as well as already super sweaty. The first 30 minutes has been straight up. <laughs> but I guess I'd rather have that at the beginning than at the end. So I guess that's a positive. Also still kind of getting used to the pack, caring about four liters of water right now. So it's making the pack extra heavy. But looks like things are flattening out now and we are in beautiful scenery. This is gonna be a fun three days. We just passed the intersection of Bluff Spring Trail, and we are now headed to Terrapin Trail. Um, the map said like 2.1 miles, um, but on Amber's watch it said 2.8. Not sure of the actual distance, but um, it took us about an hour and 37 minutes to get through that. Pretty up and down hills. And now we are starting off on Terrapin, and it starts out with a nice little climb here, if you can see. Meg up there, but let's keep going.
behind me here, like right here, is the famous Weaver's Needle. To be honest with you, the camera probably does not do it justice, but it's super cool. It's just this giant rock. I've been for lunch here on Terrapin Trail. Nice little view there of Weaver's Needle in the back. And then this is what it's out front here. Looking across the Superstition Mountains here. Looks great. Now time to eat some food. All right, we are veering off of Terrapin Trail and we are heading towards Dutchman's Trail, which will eventually lead us to our campsite for the night. Um, it's about three hours and 30 minutes into our hike time and we got probably a little over two miles left for the day. Um, feet are getting a little bit sore, but otherwise feeling pretty good. Let's keep going. Gotta watch out for your ankles on these. They will get you. Ooh, yeah. That's a no-no. Man, when you are hiking in the Superstition Mountains, you gotta be careful of what's on the side of the trails because you never know when you might just walk right into a cactus. And I swear, everything in here has thorns. Literally, everything has thorns. Even leaves have thorns. Watch out, don't walk through here. Don't get too close to these guys. Those guys will, those guys will get you. Those are pricky. I'm telling you, again, everything's got thorns here. Like literally every plant. It is crazy. Meg's up there. Look at how sunburned her legs are. You probably can't tell on the camera, but they are so sunburned. Whew. Not good. Finally, for once, I'm not the one getting sunburned. I feel bad for it though. That's gonna hurt. Continuing on Dutchman's Trail, last little bit till we are at campsite for night number one. I'll drink out of my Nalgene. Believe it or not, right now we're in a desert filtering water. Doesn't seem that way because of all these trees and such, but nice little place to filter some water. All right, made it to camp for the night. Let's get this thing off. Oh, yeah. Woo. Oh, this will do. This will do. Are you guys gonna put your tent over there? Oh, yeah. All right, camp's basically set. Nice looking view here. We are at campsite. Uh, what's this called? Oh yeah. Here, Chad see. Boy. Charles Boy. See if you guys can say this campsite. I'm gonna put it in text down here. It's, I think it's called Charles Boy's campsite, but I'm not exactly sure. See if you can uh, say that. dinner here. We got Mountain House Pasta Primavera tonight. Should be pretty good. And I am hungry. I think we're all super hungry. Oh. What are they doing in there? Okay. 
All right, leaving campsite from night one, heading to campsite for the second night. On day two, we are starting off on back on Dutchman's Trail, and we are headed to Labarge Spring for night two. Pretty short day, um, but that'll be nice to just kind of chill today and take in some of the scenery, eat some food, and just kind of relax and enjoy being off the grid a little bit. But let's keep hiking. We seem to be slightly lost. Seem to be on the trail and then all of a sudden just not on the trail. So Cody's over there trying to figure out what's going on. Meg's right there. Amber's over there. I don't know if you can see down here, but it's super green with big trees. Not everything, but get away from the not everything in the desert is uh, brown, which is cool to see. We found Labarge Spring. It is like an oasis in the desert. Look at this. Clean running water. Pretty cool to see. It is November and we got like clean water, which is always nice. At campsite number two for day two, we are back here and then Cody and Amber are right over there. A little bit different landscape than last night, being that now we're kind of in the woods and not in sand. Oh, sorry. So I'm thinking like right here? Yeah. Okay. okay. Now you get the rock for that side, I'll get the rocks for the other side. <laughs> this is Cody. <laughs> Cody was the one that's like, grabbed this last one. <laughs> I mean, it seems higher. It is. It's even better. It's new and improved. And I don't feel like I'm going to fall off. All right, we are starting off our hike on the final day on Dutchman's Trail to Bluff Spring Trail, eventually finishing our day back where our car is at Peralta Trailhead. We got about five miles today to go, a little over five miles, so not too bad, but um, it's about 6.30 right now, starting off in nice cool weather um, should be a good day there's something about hiking when the sun is rising that just feels so much better look at this absolutely gorgeous here Ooh. Here we go, don't get bricked. Jeez, I did not like that. See this 
mountain range right here with the sun on it. Right down here is our campsite that we stayed for night one. Right below those sunny rocks there. And then right down here is where we stayed for night number two. It's kind of cool when you're hiking to see where you've come and how far you've gone. Looking back, it's actually pretty amazing. Very rewarding. Last sign here before we finish up. We got 2.1 miles um, till we finish. Um, I'm actually now filming on my phone because we had a little bit of an issue. Um, I completely uh, ate it like about 20 minutes ago and fell and completely uh, wrecked. Well, both my body. I have a little scrape right here, if you can see. Not, not terrible. But the biggest casualty was this guy right here. Let's see. GoPro took the brunt of the fall. So I have my GoPro to thank for bracing me. But I guess you can always get a new GoPro. If I had three tips to give somebody planning their trip through the Superstition Mountains, it would be plan your route, drink lots of water, and bring a pair of hiking pants. Thank you Superstition Mountains for being nice to us. Another great uh, backpacking trip with Cody and Amber complete. Can't wait for the next one.